have with me in the studio the president and founder of Pasadena Coalition Initiative is also the deputy director Edo South Campaign Council of the APC Edo State Governorship Campaign Council on Pass. Alila. Many thanks for yeah, joining uh, us on the program. Good morning very much. Good morning, uh, good morning of course. So good morning, viewers. Okay. Um, campaigns have been on. Uh, yes. In the last few days, we saw political parties, yes. your parties to be specific, dotting the I's and crossing the T's. The last campaign rally was described as the mother of all campaigns, the yes. grand finale of all the campaigns. Yes. What are the major pullouts from that campaign and several of such engagements leading to these elections? Yeah, you know, the uh, opposition, or what, what do I call the PDP and other political parties have been saying that APC is not campaigning. Uh, but we kick-started our campaign very vigorously and very ferociously. And uh, the campaign has been impactful. The campaign has been a uh, campaign with uh, so much uh, uh, convincing impact. And, uh, uh, we started with the, 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 the local government campaign, we did the ward campaign, we did the uh, state campaign. Uh, the state campaign was the grand final of all the campaign. Uh, we have been engaging in unit campaign for some time now, moving from unit to unit. Uh, so we completed that of the wards. And uh, it's, uh, honestly speaking, it's been very, very peaceful. And uh, we thank God that uh, We've not experienced any uh, violence. Uh, all our campaign have been peaceful. Um, and uh, we've recorded uh, so much uh, uh, people coming into our, into our party. We've had so much people from other political parties. The last one we had here, you, you are aware that uh, Dr. Uh, Wede Yama joined us from the APC in Edo South. Why Francis Ali McKenna? the uh, donut, uh, former donut uh, senator, also joined us from uh, the uh, donut. So we've been receiving notable personalities uh, from PDP and from Labour Party and from other political parties. Uh, we've been receiving governorship uh, candidates from other political platforms as well. So it's, um, honestly speaking, we've had a very successful uh, and very impactful campaign. Uh, honestly speaking, I will, I will say, without any fear of contradiction, that we have done well uh, in the, our campaign uh, exploits. And we very much, much believe that it will tell on the election day, which is uh, tomorrow, uh, on, on Saturday. Saturday. It, will, it will certainly tell. Because one thing about a campaign is that when you are losing people, you, you, you might just say, okay, let them go. Where you lose one person, you may be losing 1,000 persons. Because these are notable people with a whole lot of influence in their communities. And uh, you, what, what you find is that on election day, you begin to see the, the impact on election day. Because these are notable personalities. And um, I, sometimes I wonder if uh, PDP is still in the race, um, considering the, the number of people that they have uh, uh, lost to uh, uh, APC. But however, however, I want to say that uh, very clearly that uh, uh, certain things have been revealing. We've had certain revelations. Uh, from um, the governor of the state. And uh, for me, as a, as, a, as, a, as a person, I'll be very shocked with the utterances um, of, the, of His Excellency, uh, uh, the governor of uh, uh, those states. I, I didn't, before now, believe that Governor Baseki could come, up, come out with uh, words like his do or die. What is do or die? Do or die. Is there anything worth dying for in life? When you say do or die, what do you mean by that? That if you don't achieve what you intended to achieve as a politician, you will die. That, that is uh, um, very unbecoming of a chief security officer of the state. And um, some of the utterances that have been coming out from him, uh, it's been very shocking. And I cannot believe that this is a man that has been governing this state over the last seven and a half years. The character. It's, uh, it, for me, it's, it's, it's shocking. It's, it's very, very shocking. Maybe your party uh, it's has not, pushed, it's not, this pushed is, him this to is, the wall. This is not... Using federal might. This is not party issue now. You are a sitting governor. You are not the governor of PDP. This is it's, uh, just an error. You are not the governor of the, the governor of... You are still 
the sitting governor of a door state. You must be mindful of your utterances that, that a door state will burn if your people are arrested. You did not send condolence message to the man that died. A man with six children killed there at the airport, slaughtered like an animal. The governor of his state could not come out to say, look, this is a sad story. It's a sad event. And as the chief security officer of the state, you send your condolence. You have not even visited the family. And you came out to say that if they arrest any of your person, so which means if the investigation is leading to your, to your PDP members, the police will not take action. Is that what you are saying? That you will burn the whole of Nigeria down? This ultra six is uh, it's very shocking to me that uh, the chief security officer of the state could come out to make that statement. Now, are we talking about the life of somebody? Or we are talking about investing? What about the man that lost his life? Nobody's talking about that. The state governor is not talking. He doesn't care about it. What he cares about is uh, if you, it's, it's still about politics. So if you arrest my people, you will burn Nigeria. It's, it's nonsense. It's senseless. So it's something that we need to look into. It's not something that, for me, it's, 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 even, if, even if you are, you are, you are, you are, you have a violent personality, when you assume a responsible office, that is why in, in, in sociology, we call it role learning. You learn on the job as quickly as possible. Even when you, okay, maybe before you came into power, by virtue of, by reason of what you do, you are rugged, you are wicked, you are callous. But when you assume responsible position, like that of a governor of a state, you behave well. You behave, because if you don't do, you will be sending the wrong message. And that's exactly what has happened. Okay, let's talk about the campaign. Now, you said, yeah. let, me, let me come to what you said, yes, just yes. that the, the APC pushing to do. How? 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 I don't know. The police have a statutory responsibility to carry out investigation wherever crimes are committed. It's as simple as that. We have nothing to do with that. APC have nothing to do with that. If their investigation is pointed to APC members, they arrest APC members. If the investigation is pointed to me, then arrest me. And why should you be afraid? If you know you didn't commit any crime, why are you afraid? If police come to me now and say, Honorable Pala Salile, we found that you committed one crime, I will, I will make myself available and defend myself. Nobody should be hiding from police arrest or police invitation. Nobody should be doing that. Okay. So if the investigation is pointed to the direction of anybody, mm. the only person, the only, we have only two people that are enjoying immunity, the governor and his uh, deputy. But we are saying that if, even if he's involved, by the time he loses his, his immunity, he will also face it. His mother, anybody, anybody that commits murder must be arrested and prosecuted. You, you kill somebody, you, the, the, the person lost his life. His family, his children are there now fatherless. The wife is not a widow. And you said we should, the police should keep quiet just because you are protecting your own people. Governor Basaki should remember that is the governor, he still remains the governor of Edo State, not the governor of PDP. You can see the partisanship. He forgot completely. He lost it by still believing, by still thinking that is the governor of PDP. We, he is still the governor of this state, and he must show responsibility, okay. and he must behave well. All right. That is my position on that. W what's, what's your take on the acceptability of the messaging of your party in the campaigns by the electorate? You, you, the, the, our message is clear, very clear. Five-point agenda, very clear. Security, electricity, rural and, and urban development, education, and health. Five-point agenda. We've, we've made it very clear to them. And we have also told the communities, some communities that Governor Obaseki went into their land, repossessed their land, destroyed the houses. We have promised them that we will give them back their land. You cannot take people's property without recourse to law. Some of these people, even there are some individuals that he destroyed their property. He destroyed, he took over and destroyed their property. Even when they have valid documents, even when the court says, no, don't do that. We still have... We, we, we have to look at the substantive, the substantive issues regarding this particular case. He did it. He did it. He, 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 he has abused his office over time. I'm honestly speaking. When the court is saying, don't do this, and you go ahead to do it, he, he has used the instrumentality of power very wrongly by oppressing the citizens of this state. 
and it's unacceptable. And that is what we are saying, that as a governor, you must behave well. Because the time will come. Look, Oba Benin told him last time, that, look, look beyond your office. Look beyond your office. Eight years is not forever. It's eight years now. November is out. It doesn't, there is nothing, whichever way the victory goes, whichever way it goes, by November, he'll be out of the office. You see, so we must be conscious of that when we occupy office of responsibility. So as far as we are concerned, our message has been clear to the people that we will provide, we will employ 5,000 teachers within six months. We will employ 5,000, go to our schools. Just go to our schools. No teachers. The schools have not been renovated. No new schools have been built over the last seven and a half years. No. A lot of teachers have died. No replacements. A lot have relocated. No replacement. A lot have re retired over the last eight years. No replacement. A lot have migrated, relocated to somewhere else. No replacement. And that is why when you go to all these schools, what you find are schools with two teachers with one principal. But in fact, as a matter of fact, the principal will be also be taking some courses, some, some, some uh, 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 courses to even teach so that uh, to see how they can fill the gap. Communities are paying teachers. So many communities are employing teachers and paying them. Don't, don't go to villages. Go to our rural area and see what is happening. You, 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 you just weep. When he was talking about that, Dobe, what are, what, when you talk about that, Dobe, Dobe for what? When schools have been dilapidated, no teachers. What is best in that? The physical infrastructure of our educational sector must be looked into. Students and pupils must learn in a conducive environment. There must be available teachers to teach them. We have mathematics, we have English, we have science subjects. You need teachers to teach them. And as I tell you, if you, if you travel around all these schools, you look at the infrastructure, you just, you just wonder if we've had a uh, 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 governor or if we had commissioner of education in this state over the last eight years. What so is, this what is, what so what we've, been, we've been looking at yeah. where they have failed. And we have been saying that these areas will resolve them. Look at, look at, look, look come to health, uh, the health sector. Go to our, he said he will build three specialist hospitals across the three centers. He didn't build any. The one that we, the specialist hospital that, that was built over 100 years ago, even before I was born, he destroyed it and he's, uh, uh, he's uh, put in a, what is it called? A museum. What, what, what has that got to do with us? A country where we are still struggling to feed, a country where we don't have very where we don't have health, good health care. We don't have good health care. A country where we don't have education. If we're, if we're, if we're a struggling, country, a country where we don't even have jobs. If we are struggling so to if, feed, if, if, if you have money, if you have money, that is if you are so comfortable. That is where you go to a museum. You say you want to go and look at artifacts. What is my business with artifacts? If we are struggling, if we are struggling to feed, if we are struggling to feed, the feeling is that your really party, see? your party has brought hunger to the people. That is, and state inclusive. That, that is nonsense. When I mean, I, I mean complete nonsense. What is nonsense about? No, is that I'm a reality? You, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. We've had administration in the state that is seven and a half years. And we are comparing it with a federal government that just came uh, a year and a few months ago. It, does that make sense? This is a government that has been receiving allocation over the last seven, eight years. He's been getting 15 billion every month. What has he been doing with What's your source? Know, what's your source for that? What's your source for that? Let me finish. Let me finish. You go to our data statistics, our data. They will tell you it's out there now. It's in the public domain. What do you mean? As, asking me that kind of question. You go and do your invest investigation. I am telling you, this is a state that he has been getting 15 billion every month. What has he been doing with it? And you are telling me that it's, a, it's a, the federal government. That is just a, that you voted a few months ago. A year and uh, two months ago, you are comparing with a government that have been here over seven and a half years that didn't do anything. You look at our rules. He has been getting billions, both internal revenue generation, the ones that have been coming from the federation account, and other sources. This, last time, the, gov the federal government gave them a lot of money. What did they do with it? We are talking about how you have deployed the resources of this state over the last seven and a half years. Now, trying to, 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 to put the blame on the federal government, you are just begging the question. When the facts are there, you have been receiving money over the last seven and a half years. What have you, I have just highlighted 
some of the failings of this government. He said they will build the airport at the Aunchi. Is, do you, are you not from Edo uh, Central? Have you been flying from Edo Central to Aunchi? I'm asking you now. You, are, you also live in Benin. Have you ever flew from Benin to Aunchi? You are an, an, an Edo man. Is there a port in uh, Aunchi? Or you want to deny that your governor didn't promise that? Well, it's possible because you can deny. Because that's what BDP does. They deny all the time. All the promises that they made to the people, they failed. Lawfully. He promised 192 head centers across the 192 wards. How many has he built? These are, the, these, these are issues that we keep highlighting to our people. And these are the issues that we have been telling our people. That look at everything you promised. I was here last and I told you. How do you assess government? You assess government based on their promises. It's as simple as that. I was in my community yesterday and I told them, if we win, this is what we are going to do. If we win, this is what we are going to do. Even before on Friday, because we went to, from community to community, some of them have issues. And they, they told us these are our issues. Some of them, very simple. They don't have street lights. Some, they don't have uh, uh, roads. Just little, little things that they were asking for. Some of the things that I can personally provide before election, I said I would provide them. It's as simple as that. And I, and, and I did, I'm committed to my words. And the ones that the government of APC will do when we come into power, I also promise them that by the time we come into power, we will raise this particular issue before. Well, people are the saying they're finding it difficult to understand the messaging from your candidate in terms of what they're going to do. Maybe that is that they way. rely on people like you but, to speak. But, but, let, let me tell you this. Let me tell you. You see, this is why Governor Baseki failed. Government is a collective responsibility. You cannot govern isolating your party. You, you don't do that. Even in advanced countries, they carry their party along, they seek advice, they consult with their party to, to, before making decisions. They don't make decisions anyhow. You cannot say, politics, now I am elected. Politicians should go that way. Uh, now I'm the governor of the state. You should go that way. No. It, it doesn't work that way. You must work in consultation. You must consult. You must liaise with your party. You must liaise with your people. They must be able to point certain things to you and say, look, in that community, you promise that you will do this. Because they'll be a day when you were campaigning and when you were making all those promises. Because it is always possible to get into office and you forget. No, that should remind you because when you were moving around, you were the one, they were the one, you were the one that were with you when you were making all those promises. And some of them, they made on your behalf. Honestly speaking, they must also remind you that in that community, they ask for transformer. You remember, please go and provide it. Because in four years, I will go there. And they will point to us. And that is what is happening to our pastor now. A lot of places that they, they, they travel, they will tell them, look, you promised us four, uh, seven years ago that this is what you did. You didn't do it. Look at it. Everything that you promised, no one you did. And that is the way it should go. Government is a collective thing. You say we have not been selling uh, our idea. The candidate have been doing his best. We, the politicians who are in the party, should be able to also tell the people. He cannot be everywhere at the same time. That's not possible. Is he, he a magician? Can you be, as a candidate, can you be everywhere at the same time? No, you, you can't. You just can't. You have the party structure and the party organs to help you. Those supporting you to help you. But you have also provided the framework for those things. I have told you just now that he has five-point agendas. The details of those five-point agendas we have identified. And we are helping him to translate it to our people. So it cannot be in my world. We have 192 worlds. It cannot be everywhere at the same they, time. They say you, and they... let me also tell you, mm. by the time you finish uh, uh, talking to the people, we are also there to continue to reiterate and remind the people that this is what he said, that this is what is going to you, you have been accused of being involved in campaign by proxies, yes. and surrogate debates, surrogate conversations. What, what is wrong with that? That's probably what As in your also, party will also entrench if you have the opportunity to be in government. Where, where, were you not there when he attended BBC interview? He attended BBC interview. He has attended so many interviews. So that is not... Uh, it's not uh, it's not, it's not right at all. He has attended so many interviews, and he has been able to articulate his agenda himself. But also let me tell you, governance is a collective thing. That is why you have commissioners. That is how you have special advisors. Or you think they are just there for decoration. They are to do their job. That is how you have special advisors. That is why you have commissioners. That is why you have all other appointees, senior special advisors. They are supposed to be doing their job. It's a collective thing. 
Because this is democracy. It is not autocracy. One man cannot sit there because it's the executive governor make all the decisions. That is why you also have the House of Assembly to provide the checks and balances. Last time, Governor Basiki governed this state with about nine or ten uh, House of Assembly, depriving so many constituencies from representation. That is unacceptable. That is not proper. And I'm still imagining, I'm still wondering how he's, as, how he spent all the money that he spent within that period without legislative approval. Where you are supposed to have 24 members and you are using uh, nine members or 10 members. How did you get the legislative approval that you use? Who passed the budget for you? Nine members. Those other and members refused tell, to come to the house it, no, it's for not inauguration. True. No, it's not true at all. You don't have that evidence. You don't have that evidence at all that they refused. They were deprived. They were deprived by governor. Of the Basel. clerk of the house they alluded were, to they, that, they, that they were, they were not they, forthcoming well, well, for the, the inauguration. At the appropriate time, we will know who actually, the, who, 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 whether they decided somebody that had been elected. Does that make sense to you? Somebody that have, that have gone through the rigors of election will now, on the day of swearing in, will now decide not to turn up. Does that make, no, you that is asking me a question. Does that make sense to you? When they were saying last time, there are things you said that doesn't make sense. They were saying last time that uh, uh, it was uh, APC members that uh, we went to welcome our governorship candidate, welcome the deputy governor of this state, Honorable, right Honorable Philip Shaibu. We went there to welcome them. And unfortunately, talks came there and shot the orderly of our governorship candidate. Are you saying, that will it make sense to you, that we that went to welcome our governorship candidate, we are the one that shot the other level of our governor, governorship candidate. Does that make sense to you? you know, there are things you just say, you, you yourself, you, you, need to, you need to sit down and think if this is reasonable. We are in an era of rationality. We are not, we are not fools now. This is the era of irrationality. You need to be able to think. So, as far as I'm concerned, somebody cannot go to the rigors of election. And on the day of election, he will sit down and say, Governor, I'm not coming for swearing. Does that make sense to you? How ready are Edo <laughs> people to make the best decision in this election? As far as I'm concerned, APC is going to win this election. Landslide. What, what, what's listen, your evidence? Listen, what's your listen, evidence? Well, we have been now. You see, the PDP have been given eight years. The verdict, the verdict is that they fail. By your hold assessment. On, hold on. We have gone through the 191, 191 words. We hear what the people say. We hear what they have told us. In every communities, every villages, there have been failure of governance in this state. In every hamlet, everywhere in this state, there have been complete failure of governance. And let me tell you this, the people have been speaking, they have been talking, they have been letting us know these failings so that when we get there, who address them? Are you following me? So we've been there. So I am. I am giving you. I am giving you the verdict of the people. PDP have lost this election. I am telling you, lost in a free and fair contest. We have said, let what we are saying. Let this election be free and fair. Let there be no manipulation. Let there be no external external forces. Let the people go to the polling booth and exercise their franchise without any intimidation from any group, without any intimidation from the police, without any intimidation from the soldiers, without any intimidation from security outfit that got, got no basic put in place, and armed them with guns. Over the last four years, he armed them with guns. But they've been complimenting the security agents in the state. Let me tell you. Oh, no, police no, in the I'll state. You. Yes, let me you're talking you. about let me tell you. security oh, network, yes, let me tell the you. vigilantes. Let me tell you something. They've been providing oh, security yeah. at the state level. Of course. You, have, you don't know what has been responsible for the court killings, which also affected your staff here. The court killings. You give vulnerable people guns. Vulnerable people, you give them guns. And they begin to use it to fight personal and settle personal's cause. You know how many people have died as a result of these indiscriminate weapons around the state. There have been a whole lot of things. A lot of our young men have died. So many of them. You are aware, which you have also reported. Some of yourself have been victims of these killings. Because we live in a country where investigations are not done properly. Investigations are not done properly. So you cannot, you cannot even say this is the cause. 
Because we don't do investigation. Something people just die, they'll say, okay, go and bury him. We don't, we don't do proper investigation. If it was in a Sena clan, this vigilante would have been scrapped long time ago. But not, people like you have advocated not, for not, state not, police. Not because of, no, I have never. I am not an advocate. So, but what is no, your, what I, is I, your I, party no, no, going I, to do I, differently? I, I, I am not What's an, your party I, going I, to do no, differently? No, I am not an advocate of state police. I have never advocated for state police. As far as I'm concerned, we are not matured. The governors of the various states, what they have done with certain power that have been devolved to them over time, how they have abused it. Nobody should, nobody in his right mind should be advocating for state police. Look at what they did with uh, the local government elections, where they would sit in their houses and write results. That is why most of the councillors, most of the chairmen, they don't have influence in their community because they were not voted for. You must allow, you must allow contests in every election so you get the right people. That is why the councillor of my world, I don't even know him. He cannot stand and speak when I'm talking. He has no influence. The reason is because he was appointed, not elected. Majority of them were not appointed. And we are not elected. They were appointed. You, we all know, you all, there was no local government election in this state. There was not. We all know that. So when Governor Basaki is talking about democracy, about rule of law, I just laugh. I see so much hypocrisy around those kind of statements. You see, now, if you say you are an apostle of democracy, you must obey the rule of law. Okay. You must make sure you conduct free and fair election. You must bring credible people in your community to contest election. You must allow Frank to fair contest in every ward. Let any, any, any right-thinking politician should know that if I'm going into a contest, it is either I win or lose. It's as simple as that. It's not a do or die thing. A good politician should be ready to win election, should be also ready to accept defeat. It is not your father's property. It is the people's verdict. It is not your verdict. Let the people speak and so that we can get the right people into office of responsibility. That is my position on that. All right. On a final note, before we let you go, talk to uh, Edo people uh, about this. What's your message? Final message? My message is clear. Yeah. We will do better. Far better than this government that is not emotionally intelligent. The government have been reckless. They have been irresponsible. They, they, are, they, they, are, they didn't provide security. They provided the security by their conduct, by their misdemeanors, and their behavior. That's what we, your candidate also provide. We, 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 we That's what your candidate we, also promised. We, we, we will provide. We will provide. We will provide responsible governance where the Oba of Benin will be respected, where infrastructures will be provided. Where every child will learn in a conducive environment. We will build schools. We will renovate existing ones. We will employ teachers into our various schools. We will build hospitals. We will not use museums to replace our existing hospitals. We will remove the, the what is it called? The, uh, the consultants that is currently managing that hospital. And we'll bring that hospital under the health management board so that, so that the right people will be employed and so that the right fee. And the and the and the and the, the health care that we provide will be based on the situation of our people. Now you go there and a lot of our people are not able to access that hospital. Hospital that was built with taxpayers' money. It's been wrong. Like a private hospital. But that hospital was now, built you, by you, your you, government yes, under yes, the former governor. Yes, yes. Adam the, so, it, the, so the intention it, was to bring that hospital under the health management board. Mm. It was not to be given to consultants. But even at that, was it accessible? How can you, the how man can on you the use taxpayers' money to build hospital? And you now gave the hospital to a private uh, individual to run. Does that make sense? That was not our intention. Adams Oshomele built that hospital with the intention of bringing that hospital under the health management board so that it would be publicly run with the right staffing, not with all this business minded uh, 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 situation that we find ourselves. No. So it was not wrong. Government is supposed to be a continuum. Okay. So if this present governor came and changed everything. Look at the Edo Storm Water Project. It was supposed to be, it was supposed to be ongoing for years to be able to get the required effect. He stopped it. That is why when rain falls, everywhere is, 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 is erosion everywhere. So these are the issues that we are saying. For us, we don't know. We have not been able to assess if this governor have done anything right. But for, 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 for us, we will provide good, good governance. With evidence, not why you say you say, oh, you have signed MOU, uh, you are building industrial park, you sign MOU with billions. You go to where you say you put industrial park, you see animals. Eh? You sign that you are providing 200,000 jobs. Uh, then you travel out. 
You go and meet people. You say they are coming. You don't see any. No job has been created okay. over the last eight years. Okay. There are so many things that you promise. All you do is to sign MOU. Uh, Memorandum of Understanding. You sign. Nothing on ground. So that is not the kind of governance. We are going to provide a practical oriented governance. Physical you, uh, infrastructure. You see them. If you say you are building hospital, the hospital should be there live. If you say you, say you are building an uh, airport, it should be there now. Is it uh, spiritual? Is development spiritual? All right, so is, we'll pass is, there. Is, is, we'll, we'll is it we'll praying and fasting? We'll, we'll, no, I'm you. asking you now. Is, we'll, is politics, we'll, we'll, we'll is governance now. praying and fasting? You provide, provide it. Let's, okay. let's see it. Okay. Let's see it. Okay. Everything that the governor has promised or had promised, he failed. We didn't see any. That is our issues. All right. Thank you very much for God your you. views and uh, perspectives. Uh, even though they're part, they're partisan, uh, uh, you should expect that. But it's not partisan. We, we, we thank you. We thank it's you for coming, Andrew Pass Alile, for coming on it's, the program. It's